Too sweet. Too sweet. Too sweet. everyone this is the villain marty sco and today we're doing something a little bit different uh i noticed that it was the 10 year anniversary of the bullet club so i thought we'd do something different maybe i the one true villain would reflect on my debut in the bullet club which was what maybe six seven years ago now so yeah let's check out the day that marty sco joined the bullet club when the bullet club got a villain but first if you haven't already please subscribe please hit the subscribe button that would help me out a lot and i'm intending to doing a lot more uh different content like this so you don't want to miss out so just just hit the subscribe button let's take a look let's see if i can work out this technology and watch myself join the bullet club here we go oh So, first thing I should say, I remember when I was asked to join the Bullet Club, when New Japan asked me to join Bullet Club, uh, originally they told me that I should just tweet about it. Uh, myself and the Bucks and Kenny we were like, what? No, we can't tweet about it. Um, but it just so happened at the time that Adam Cole was uh, leaving Ring of Honor to hopefully go WWE. And Adam Cole at the time was a Bullet Club member and him and Kenny were kind of having a power struggle. So it really kind of all worked out. We thought, oh, that's a great idea. Marty can kill Adam Cole and join the Bullet Club. When I found out that I was joining Bullet Club, I think the Young Bucks talk about this in their book. We were actually at a show together, myself, the Bucks and Kenny uh, in Ireland. And so we were like, no, I can't just tweet about it. Let's go film something in the, the hotel later and then we'll use that at the pay-per-view where I joined Bullet Club. Uh, so this video that you're watching now, this video was taken in a hallway in a hotel in Dublin, Ireland at probably three in the morning. I'm standing here. Well, I don't want to spoil it, but I'm standing in the hallway of the hotel in my whole villain get up mask hat coat. And uh, if anyone would have seen us, then they would have known that I was going to join the Bullet Club. But fortunately, it was 3 a.m. Everyone was asleep. So let's take a look. Listen to that pop. <laughs> what in the world did we just see? <laughs> so there I was in the hallway. There must be a hero and there must be a villain. Who could it be? It could only be me. Whoop, whoop, Marty. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. I don't think a lot of people realize this, but the chant, too sweet. Whoop, whoop, too sweet. Whoop, whoop, which has transcended me. Seems to happen everywhere. Anytime the Bullet Club is around or former members. Uh, that was invented by the fans for me. It was adding the bucks too sweet to my whoop, whoop. But yeah, that has transcended me now. And people just chant that. For whoever. Looking like a badass. Out of the darkness into the light. Take a look at that. 
what was funny about that umbrella is so I knew I was going to join the Bullet Club. Didn't have time to get a real umbrella made. So I had this black umbrella and I had to find someone to paint it. Um, and then I had to travel all the way from the UK to the States with this big Bullet Club umbrella that I couldn't possibly let anyone see. So I had a cover on it the whole time. I was like, no one can see my Bullet Club umbrella where people would know that I'm joining the Bullet Club. So the person that painted, fortunately, I don't think they knew what the Bullet Club was, so they didn't suspect anything. Now, I knew when I joined the Bullet Club, I wanted it to be a really big reveal. I wanted it to be a special moment. And I thought, oh, perfect. Let's, I'll open the umbrella and it will say Bullet Club. And Adam will just, he'll know what his fate is. He'll know that he's been kicked out of the Bullet Club and replaced with the Bullet Boom! Double super kick. <laughs> Struggling to get my jacket off. <laughs> you know what was cool about this is growing up, I always thought it would be amazing to be a member of the nwo that was my dream to be in the nwo or dx um but big nwo fan still am but never got to be a member of the nwo but i got to be a member of the bullet club it's kind of the same thing right bullet club it's kind of the evolution of the nwo or it's just nwo ripoff i think people say <laughs> so i got to be in the nwo ripoff that's good enough for me i'll take it <laughs> Too sweet, too sweet, too sweet. Ooh, blasted him. Yeah, if you notice in that video, I opened the Bullet Club umbrella, which was uh, really heavy and it was pretty expensive to get it painted. So you notice Nick actually hands me another umbrella, which is the one that I hit Adam Cole with because I didn't want to hit anyone with my nice Bullet Club umbrella and break it because that costs money and it's the famous Bullet Club umbrella. It's probably worth thousands. Funny story about the Bullet Club umbrellas when we finally went to put them on sale at Pro Wrestling Tees, uh, actually crashed the website because there was so much demand for the Bullet Club umbrellas. So if you're one of those lucky people that picked up a Bullet Club umbrella, then you're very fortunate because I don't believe there's too many of them. I mean, I think I've only got one or two. Maybe one. People ask me all the time, oh, you got a Bullet Club umbrella? I'm like, one. You can't have it. I'm sorry. But Adam Cole can have it because he got, he got it. Boom. He got it good. <laughs> oh. Famous kiss. <laughs> The old too sweet. Pull him up. Pull him up. Pull him up. As mightier as ever. Marty Skrull, the Young Bucks, the Bullet Club. Well, Kevin, as we try and process what we just saw, let's take a look at what led to tonight's main event. Marty, 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 Marty. So, there we have it. That was me debuting in the Bullet Club. Um, people still ask me about Bullet Club all the time. There seems to be a real huge fan base for the Bullet Club. And people want to get Bullet Club shirts and merchandise signed from me all the time. It was only really a short part of my career. But it's definitely a part that a lot of people remember. I'm sure there was people that only heard of me for the first time when I joined the Bullet Club. So <clears throat> I know it's very special to a lot of fans. So for that reason, it's very special special to me. Very cool night getting to debut with uh, the Bullet Club, getting to join the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little visit down memory lane. The villain joins the Bullet Club. If you did, please give it a like, please share and please subscribe. And uh, if you'd like me to review anything else, let me know in the comments.
and I'll make another video just like this. Until next time, long live the villain. <laughs> I almost forgot, I have one more thing that I would like to share with you all because this week I opened up my very own online villain store for official villain merchandise. Look at this, I've got uh, signed masks which have been very popular, uh, micro brawlers, villain pins, signed 8x10s. It's all very cool, it's all very exciting, and it's exclusive merch for the one true villain. So please check out the link in the description and pick yourself up some villain swag. Thanks guys.